of army staff Buratai directs soldiers to treat all Nigerians as Boko people suspects. Chief of Army Staff Tuko Buratai has ordered troops involved in counter insurgency operations in the Northeast to swift ready themselves to war mode. According to People's Gazette, Buratai lamented a slick in personal performance that had prolonged the war. An internal army correspondence seen by the newspaper titled COAS Special Order 01 Change to War also directed soldiers deployed in Operation Lafayette a special anti terrorism combat squad to treat all individuals in the troubled region as Boko people suspects until properly identified. All mm -hmm. persons must be treated as suspects unless fully identified and cleared, especially in isolated high treat areas when or on clearance operations mm -hmm. and checkpoint duties. We are not in peacekeeping operations, internal security operations or deterrence action. This mm -hmm. is real war fighting. The November 20, 2020 Directive Sir. OPLD Theatre Commander Farouk Yahaya also conveyed a follow-up from Pratai to the soldiers, directing them to quickly identify and immediately neutralize all confirmed Boko people elements. Right activist Emeka Imegbalashi worries that the new methodology deployed by Chief of Army Staff portends grave consequences for human rights. If that directive is implemented, we are going to witness human rights abuses on an industrial scale. Emek Balassi told People's Gazette, the Nigerian Army's counter-insurgency operation should be done within the confines of international best practice. Superior intelligence and crime detection will be applied considering Boko people asymmetrical style of operation in the Northeast can't be labeled as Boko people, he added. Military authorities had repeatedly assured since 2015 that the decade-long war against insurgency had been won and the Nigerian army was merely executing a mop-up operation to extinguish remnants of Boko people in the Northeast. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, um, you see, just like I said earlier, that this country still need restructuring. See, everything still centers on restructuring. You can imagine a statement from Pratai. You can imagine a statement from Pratai. Even if your your military, your military starts treating everyone like suspected Boko people, things will still remain the same. If there is no restructuring, we will still keep experiencing insecurity. That is not the solution to the problem that we are in. That is not the solution. You are a military leader. You are supposed to understand this better than any other person. Are you not in your better position to advise your president and let him know the significance of paying attention to it to, to, to restructuring? Are you not? Why are you pretending just because he is your boss? Nobody is an island of knowledge. Nobody. Nobody at all. The president was elected by the people. 
he was elected by the people and he was elected to serve and as an elected president he was told that he made a promise that he will always keep to um to to inst to 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 uh, instructions he will always adhere to people's opinion that he will always um answer when people call he made a promise to uh to protect the life and properties of the people he made all of this promise but as we speak now none of this promise has been kept none of the old bits have been kept not a single one has been kept and you think that everyone should just remain calm? No. It doesn't all go well. And it won't. Not until he learned to listen. Not until he learned to adhere. Things are not getting better. Who are you to utter such a statement that people should, everyone should be treated like Boko people insurgents. Have you forgotten your position as a chief of staff? Have you forgotten? No wonder. No wonder you said you made that um, that idea of of um, someone. Uh, you made that idea to the to the to the president that um, that uh, the that the president should give you the order to rule out Surya's on the NSAS protesters. Do you think that idea is the right idea? You think you have made the right idea? And didn't you see what that idea of yours cost this country? Didn't you see that? <laughs> I laugh. I laugh because even you as a military leader doesn't even know the right thing to do. You don't. That means you are the wrong person. Truly, you're supposed to have retired. But the president is still keeping you for a reason best known to him and not to the people. May God have mercy on us. My viewers, you really need to come into this matter. You need to speak up. Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.